We are at the Royal Albert Hall and it is the Fashion Awards 2018 in partnership with Swarovski. Aren't we lucky? Isn't London alive tonight? It's a dream. I feel like I'm in a magical world. I've never seen anything like this. It's become so international. It's such a wonderful cultural melting pot here. This is the one time of the year where I get to feel stylish, surrounded by stylish people. I am falling in love with London by the second. This might be my highlight of 2018. People really recognize the people who have inspired us and have done incredible works. So to be nominated is probably the, the biggest honor. Winning Emerging Menswear last year, I still pinch myself. I'm so, so grateful. It's incredible. You never think it's going to be you. So it's a, a crazy experience. It feels very special to be able to do something that you love and then for people to respond to it, it's really positive. They're all so brilliant, so I can't wait to see who's going to win. Things have changed so much with the nominees that we're seeing tonight and it's really good news. We're seeing greater representation intersectionally within the fashion industry. Our work at art school is always about putting amazing queer and individualistic people on the catwalk. Different ethnicities, a lot of different music, a lot of different sounds. All of that together becomes something very inspirational. It's an awards ceremony, but it's first and foremost a fundraiser where all the big fashion brands come together to support young talent. We've got 21 students in the university now because of the money we raised tonight to make sure that the pipeline of talent is open. I've always found London the most inspiring city with the art galleries and the museums and just the different people. I'm no stranger to London. I really feel the history. It's amazing. It's the clash of culture, personality. It always refreshes me. It feels like the world watches London, especially during Fashion Week and on the fashion stage. London is all about creativity and innovation and it's great that we can champion that tonight.